Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and uh, today is May 18th, and this is week 20 of Finding 52, and the focus for this week is procrastination. I, this past weekend and a few other times, I have been working on doing some research on the universal laws <clears throat> and the 12 laws of karma. And it kind of sparked something within me and it was, it was kind of a rabbit hole that I went down and I'm glad I did. Uh, on Sunday, I decided that I really wanted to get my backyard into a position where I would enjoy being back there. I have done my garden and I have like four big pots with tomatoes in them and then two garden boxes. And last year, about the same time, I had pulled up all the grass or it, I use grass as a loose term because it's really just weeds. Um, when we bought the house, they had um, extended this house like 500 square feet from the basement up. And so we have a tiny, tiny backyard and it's, and it's very small. It wouldn't be good for kids. And, um, let's see, I've been working with my running and working out in the yard, my weird little tan. Anyway, uh, I, it occurred to me that while I was out watering my garden, that I really wanted to be able to spend some of my morning meditation time outside. Uh, now that I've been working from home, it would be really nice to be able to spend some time out there in my backyard and just enjoy it. And right now, I don't enjoy it. And I will put some video in to this so y'all can kind of see the craziness that is my backyard. No judgment. No judgment. Anyway. So I I was kind of contemplating what I wanted to do because on Saturday I did a really deep heavy water of all my plants and all that kind of thing and then Sunday morning I woke up and I was like you know I am done messing with trying to figure out if the fence in our backyard is ours if it's our neighbors if we have to share it whatever. I, there's rumor that there's a second package coming out from the government, and if that happens, then we're going to put in a new fence. I want the white vinyl fencing all the way around our yard, and I, I don't care <laughs> if, you know, whatever, what, you will see why I'm, I'm talking about this here in a few minutes, but I... Because as far as I can tell, it's not our fence. We don't own any of the fence. And so, that's up currently. And so I'm just like, I just want to be done with it. I'm just going to put vinyl fencing. Um, you know, for all intents and purposes, we will be in this house for the next 10 years before we decide to move out of the country or whatever we want to do. Um, you know, that can change at any moment, but right now that's the plan. And in going through the different universal laws and the 12 laws of karma and all of that, you know, a lot of it deals with living in the now and doing what you can now. And every, everything requires action. And it occurred to me that I'm like, hmm, there has been a lot of inaction around my backyard. And I have procrastinated horribly. I mean, over a year procrastination. That's a long time. But with working and training and running and everything else that I had going on, I never had time to do it. Well, ta-da, we're home. <laughs> have time now. So I, I realized that I needed to have a plan but I also had to have action. And I can't just say, I want a new fence. That is the goal, that is my big goal, is to get a new fence. Because without the new fence, I can't do what I wanna do, which is zero escape, 
the backyard so that, because grass and everything, I don't want grass. I'm allergic to grass. <laughs> Crazy enough as it seems, I, but I'm not allergic to trees or flowers or anything like that. So I want to do a zero scape, which is, you know, it's what the state of Utah prefers us to do anyway. And like have rock formations. I would love, love to have a maze path in the back so I could do a uh, walking meditation. I would love that. And I have a, tra I have training stuff set up in the backyard and I used it for as long as I, you know, all last summer I used it and then it got overgrown again. So I was like, okay, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to create a project plan of what I need to do because the goal is a new fence, but there is so much that needs to get done prior to that. I can't just wake up one day and go, Oh, we're going to get a new fence. So the first thing was I have to get rid of all of the weeds and all of the debris in the backyard because I don't even want to have somebody come back and give us an estimate on the fence until all of that is gone. One, it's, you just can't walk through it. And two, how embarrassing is that? It's like, oh yeah, we want to put a brand new fence, but I can't seem to be bothered to clean up all the crap that's in the backyard. No. So <laughs> we are not going to go there. Um, my husband and I are polar opposites on this subject because even though they're weeds, it's just green and lush. And you will see in the video where I'm saying, and he's like, it just, I like that. And I'm like, I hate it. And I'm the one that spends the time back there. I'm the one that's doing the gardening. I'm the one that's wanting to do all of these different things. And basically all he does is in the yard is um, barbecue. That's it. And then we come inside because the sun burns him. <laughs> he's like, oh, the sun. It's like, he's like, he's like a vampire. He does not like the sun. And he has um, photosynthia, Cynthia? he sneezes when he gets in the sunlight and he can't stop. So he hates it. Photosynthia, something like that. Anyway, so I'm like, okay, what are these steps that I have to go through to get this done? And then I can't, I, so I wrote down all my steps, everything that I needed to get done. And I put it in my uh, household planner. And it's like, so there it is. And so goal one is to get a new fence installed, but I need to weed the backyard and get it prepped. I need to rake in into everything into workable piles. I need to remove as much as possible every trash day because we don't have the ability to, I, I tried calling for the big dumpsters that we can get for free here in the, in our city. Yeah, they're all booked because everybody's at home and has everything done. So I have to just put it in our trash bins and our, in our green bins and get it done every Tuesday. So weekly, I have to get back there and pile it up and then get those piles into the bins before Tuesday morning when the trash people come. So then I have to get an estimate for full, um, for the full vinyl fence and, and I want to get estimates on sides just in case we only do one side at a time. I, I have absolutely no idea how much a fence costs. No clue. So we're going to get both. We're also going to find out how much it would be for a wood fence, but I really don't want a wood fence. Not at all, but that's what we have. And then I have a window well into my uh, den downstairs that needs to be cleaned out because it's been overgrown with ivy and I I'm convinced that she love lives in that thing. As I was pulling her in and I told Greg this and he was like, well, I don't think that she love would be down there, but I can guarantee you that it's definitely a spider haven. And I'm like, okay. So one of the other added benefits of this is that I have gotten in touch with the inner chicken who was terrified of spiders and terrified of bugs. And I have just been like, we can do this. 
you were fine with them when you were a kid and as an adult it just got crazy so I have dealt with many a spiders and worms and creepy crawly crunchy bugs which freak me out but overall picture so it is helping me deal with a phobia and it's kind of therapeutic for me that way but as I was pulling all of this stuff out and I wish I had taken video of it but it seems like I mean I, and we in Utah we have window wells so that um, they're in their line with like aluminum and so that you can see the sunlight and in your basement well some reason there's like this big like a gopher hole kind of thing but I don't think it's a gopher hole I actually think it was like overflow from our gutter and it just kind of dug down in because it doesn't look like it was dug it looked like it was worn away so and the gutters we're gonna leave those Greg will have to deal with that I am not getting on the roof no but <laughs> when I was pulling all this stuff away I was like see see I told you she lob lives down there and Greg's like oh that's more like tarantula size and I'm like you are not helping and he's like I'm going back inside and I'm like okay so long story even longer I I have been dealing with that and I this afternoon on my lunch hour I did my quick run and then I spent the rest of the time back there trying to get everything um into the two bins that we had that were empty uh, because I was like I am already sweaty it is 87 degrees outside I am the wind was blowing like crazy and I'm like I'm covered in like dust and bits and everything I might as well just do it now because my plan was to do this video during lunch and then do everything in the backyard after work I just flipped them so I apologize that this is going up a little late but I also did not want to take two showers in a day either so uh, but I realized going through all of this I'm like you know I did this last year and then I never got to the point of pulling all this stuff out and putting it into the bins and I never had the plan of getting a new fence because at the time portions of our fence had not blown down so uh, I I was like eventually we're gonna need to get a new fence but that was way down the list of things that needed to get done well mother nature has made sure that it is now a priority and I we do have a shed um, it is one of the plastic sided ones uh, so I would not ever turn that into a she shed but I'm like at least it could be storage for gardening and all that kind of thing I would like to to get that taken care of so I'm gonna be spending a lot of time outside and I would like to get some matching you know furniture for the little patio that we do have but also do in some like I said like a walking meditation path and still keep my training section up and make it all usable and for next season I would like to add a couple of more boxes I already have the garden boxes ready and again on the checklist of procrastination Amy did not put the other three up that she has been trying to get built since November found that out thanks to this little thing which is my um, um, plum paper planner which is my home planner and I'm like just how long have I been putting this off and I'm like well at least November because that's when they were there so I, I will say that I am I am very happy that I only have the two garden boxes because it is a lot to deal with with everything else going on and until I'm much more comfortable being actively gardening I'm good um, I, my plan was to have five garden boxes and not use the pots but since I have the pots and they were easy to just fill and I didn't want to clear everything out and and because I knew if I had waited and tried to get all five built we'd still be waiting this time next year yeah so procrastination is a very hard thing to get over especially here and I was realizing that with when I had a schedule 
of going to work and coming home from work and getting all of this stuff done, all, all the balls that I had in the air. It was much easier to not procrastinate or call it procrastination because it's like I have all of these other things done, going on. I can't help but know that it is flat out complete procrastination when I don't leave my house. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, this is the perfect time. You know, I can, I can forgive myself for not getting all of this stuff done last year because there was a lot on my plate and I'm like, great, call that done. You got the two boxes built and that's awesome. And you have the pots, your garden is set. Now let's worry about the rest of the backyard. So I was like, all right, what do I want to get done? And so you heard the list. And so I'm hoping that by the end, uh, before winter hits, that I will be able to at least get everything in, out that I want out and clear away the unnecessary so that I can find the necessary. And when I was doing this on Saturday or on Sunday morning, that just kept going through my head. I'm clearing away everything that's unnecessary to find what's necessary because I don't know how I want to zero escape the backyard. I just know that I need to see what I have to work with and then go from there. And until I can see it all cleared away, I can't get a picture of what I want to do in my head. I also know that I am afflicted with planning procrastination. So I could sit here all day long on Pinterest and look at all the pretty pictures of what I want to do in the backyard. But that's not going to get the backyard done. And so that's also a form of procrastination for me. And I have to limit myself to getting things done and then enjoying the Fista la grass, you know, all these rock formations, everything that I want to do until after I get everything out. And so, or at late at night when there's not really time, I can't be out there to do that. So I am, you know, putting in the fact that I couldn't get the big dumpsters here and having to make sure that every Tuesday morning, everything that I can get out there is out there. That has definitely lit a fire under me because I want to get it done. And if we should get a second check for some reason, you know, then I want to be ready so that everything is cleared out and I can just call somebody, you know, I, and say, hey, I want you to come and do an estimate on, you know, such and such and get those estimates in and then find a way to get it done. I also know that at the end of the season, everything goes on sale or clearance because, you know, nobody's putting in yard stuff in the, at the beginning of winter. So that's my plan for that. And I'm starting to put a savings aside for that so that I can get stuff for next year at the end of this season. This season is all about cleaning it out, getting it ready and getting it prepped so that I can just start different things. And I know that I will want some of the big boulders and some of the 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 brick um they're like decorative bricks that you can build like planters around your tree stumps and that kind of thing so I know that I will want that and I you know will go in and and uh on my new iPad that's still not here they have a way that you can measure things there's like a an active measuring uh app and then you can go in and you can just like drop pictures in and stuff like that. So I will be taking like a big panoramic picture and then putting in different aspects and, and trying to design it that way. However, until then, I am busy getting my stuff done and getting it out of here. And so I'm trying very hard 
to not get into the planning portion of everything until the cleanup is done. And my husband came out Sunday morning after he woke up because again, he games and he stays on his sleep schedule. So around noon he came out and he had these big eyes like, oh God, what are we doing? Uh, I know, but I was not prepared for this. And I was like, don't worry, this is all me. I want to clean this all up and get it all out. And, you know, eventually I want us to get a brand new fence. And he's like, I'm good with that. And I'm like, okay, all right. So this project is mine because it's more of what I want to do. And also it's eventually about what I want to do, but also what I want to do when we want to sell the house. So it's an improvement, a house improvement that is more of a long-term plan to add benefit to our sale price. So even though there are little steps, they're actionable steps and I can do them every week and not procrastinate on it because I also know at the end of like, I want to say it's September or October, they don't take the green um, stuff anymore. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get all of this done, get it out of here. And then I'm going to have to keep it all up because once I clear away all the debris and stuff, then I have to just keep getting rid of stuff. So it's a multi-week, probably a multi-month pro process of this. And I will definitely keep you guys updated on everything. But that's why I wanted to make this a focus because... I don't want to procrastinate again, like I did last year, and lose the focus of what I'm trying to get done. And it would be super nice to have, you know, all of that cleared away and I just have to go out and, you know, work a little bit to clean it up and then worry about, you know, calling the fence people and all that kind of thing. Had I done this last year, that's where we would be right now. And I don't want to find myself in this exact situation again next year when I don't have the luxury of being here every day and getting it all done. So that is the benefit, uh, one of the other benefits of getting it done right now is I'm here, I'm home, I can work outside in the garden in the mornings and get what I need done, take a shower and still be at work. So. If this was a regular time frame, I would have to come home from work, not be damn tired, uh, you know, and be out there from six to, you know, eight o'clock at night and then not have any time to relax or do what I want or, you know, game or be with Greg. So that is why procrastination is the focus for this week because I have found myself more than once procrastinating on so much and it's it's very hard to explain it away when I'm here 24 7 unless I'm out getting groceries <laughs> so I pretty much had a had a a come to, you know, whoever, um, meeting with myself and going, okay, look, we need to get this done and we need to figure out a way to get it done. And that's what I've come up with. So, uh, doing the research on the universal laws and then 12 laws of karma just kind of sparked it in me. And I'm like, you know, that's a lot of these things are telling me exactly what I'm doing and I need to not do that. So in a roundabout way, it's it's been really good to get back to learning. This is my this is my research traveler's notebook by the way. This is a Kodiak uh, rustic Kodiak from uh, Speckled Fawns and this is a wide and it is probably the biggest thickest 
uh, traveler's notebook that I've got. But I love this thing. Oh my gosh. And I've got notes in here from all kinds of different things. I've got, let's see, these are, um, they're wide inserts that I just got off Amazon. And and it's just got the date and the page and it's lined. But I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I've got a Baron Fig a little notebook in the back. And each one of these notebooks is uh, different things that I'm taking notes on. And so this just sits on my coffee table. And if I'm, you know, if I'm doing my morning meditation or if I need to look something up or whatever it I just write I'm able to just write it down and I love this thing it is humongous and so it's not something that I would carry around with me you know a lot of places but it's great to just have sitting on the table and be ready for notes at any point in time and so and it smells fantastic I love it so one of my favorite speckled bonds anyway so, so many tangents today. And my hair is crazy and it's making me nuts and I, I can't do anything with it. And it's kind of out of the David Cassidy phase. <laughs> and I have no makeup on because it's too hot and I'm just like, this is as good as it's gonna get today. So, I hope you guys have had a, a good week so far. Um, here I'm gonna go ahead and splice in the um, video that I took outside and uh, for, before this so that I kind of knew what I was gonna be talking about. And I'll put it in here and it'll show you what my garden looked like right here. So this is the backyard and I cleared all of this out. There were um, that's what's left of the third pile. And there's the fourth pile, and I've got that. So this is the third of the east side, uh, on the east side. My garden boxes, that's my compost bin. And then over there is what my lawn did look like. Okay, technically not a lawn. That is actually my, it, that's what's all underneath it. Um, we're trying to do zero scape. And that's the reason for the entire plan, because the wind has blown all of that down. And then, of course, there's we have all of that, which will be coming out in the shed. All right. So now you can see what I've been talking about. So I hope you guys have had a great week and are looking forward to this next week. Um, I'm looking forward to the fact that I have a three-day weekend coming up with Memorial Day, which will be wonderful. It'll be weird not spending it with family, but um, I think it's more important to stay safe. So um, I hope that you have something fun planned. I think we're going to do a barbecue and do some steaks outside on the grill, and that'll be the first time we've done that in a while so um, we are looking forward to that so I hope you guys have a great day and I'm so again I'm sorry this got up a little bit late but having to switch things around um, kept me from procrastinating and I appreciate you guys always being there for me and um, listening to my rants and craziness so even when I look like a crazy person with crazy hair anyway um, I will talk to you guys soon and I will be posting pictures um, as well online uh, in the group in the Facebook group so hopefully you'll see them there anyway take care be safe and I will talk to you guys soon bye